Welcome collectors, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. Today's video we're going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters Transport Series 1-50 to scale Western Star 4900 SF or set forward axle dump truck. The item number is 71067. This is the latest in a series of dump trucks that have been released by Diecast Masters over the past several years as part of their transport series. And in my opinion it's one of the best. So without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then we'll take a look at the model. So as all Transport Series models come in, it has the brown style packaging. Pretty plain other than the item number and the description that's in it. The description, by the way, is new for this year. I kind of like that touch. Helps you keep track of everything once it's in storage. So let's go ahead and crack the model open. All right, the top has the, as you may expect, the background that's been used for all of the Western Star trucks. Kind of that rainbow fade finish, which I really like from black. Uh, all the way to purple down here with the colors in the middle. Once again, your item number is here. This is a 1 to 50 scale model and the Diecast Masters logo there. On the back, you can see there are two pictures depicting functions of the model. And underneath that, you can see that the real truck, depending on configuration, has anywhere from a 350 to a 505 horsepower Detroit engine with up to 2,050 pound feet of torque. The cab type is standard with roped in windshield and the hood type is fiberglass traditional non-sloping hood. Here's all your copyright information and once again all your logos if you need that kind of thing. If you've never had a transport series model before, this is packaging genius if you ask in my opinion. Because it has a finger hole, it allows you just to stick your finger in the finger hole and pull the model out. No flaps or anything to deal with and thankfully no twisty ties. On top you have the Diecast Masters Transport Series catalog. I like this. It's always kind of a quick reference guide for me, and you can put it in your pocket if you want next time you go to your favorite hobby shop. Inside it has pictures and item numbers correlating to all of the Diecast Masters Transport Series trucks and trailers and containers that have been released to date. Again, very helpful if you're trying to keep your collection in order. It is two levels of packaging. The very top has two exhaust stacks that have to be fitted to the truck and of course the bottom layer in the foam rubber is the model. We'll reach in and take the truck out and then we will quickly put the exhaust stacks on the truck. So this version comes with only one type of exhaust. Sometimes, sometimes the transport series trucks come with a curved exhaust and a straight up and down exhaust. This truck only has one exhaust stack option and it is what I like to call the curved variation. So the way to quickly do this, if you're new and you've never seen one of these videos before, is there's two predetermined holes up on top of the stacks that have been drilled through, and that's how you put these stacks in. They drop into the holes, and normally they don't require any effort whatsoever, and as you can see within a couple of seconds, they are on no problem. So. The first thing that you want any dump truck model to do is to dump well and have a pretty decent dump angle. This truck is no exception, and that is helped by this three-stage cylinder right here. This is about the height that it will go up without forcing anything, as you can see here, which is a pretty respectable angle. And the tailgate also will open up as well, so this is a perfect pose for if you're loading into a cat paver model uh, or stockpiling material. Lots of different things you can do with these type of dump trucks. On the back, it has this little chute right here, which is non-functional. It just adds a little bit of detail. And speaking of detail, there's even a nice warning, tiny yellow warning sticker right there, which again breaks up uh, the, the overall gray or platinum design and adds some realism to it. The mud flaps have the Western Star logo on them and are flexible rubber. And finally, the truck does come standard with a trailer hitch in the back should you want to hook up some of your trailers that you may have uh, for example like a tag trailer this hitch will work fine for that now you may have noticed that this model does have a drop axle and it is functional if you look right here hopefully that this will pick it up right here is a tiny screw that you can let down to pose the axle grounded with the other axles or leave it up in the carry position as you can see here. It is entirely your choice. It does feature steering on it as well, just like the front axle does. So you can pose the truck steering. And the last working feature is an opening hood 
and inside you can see a modeled engine with some different colored components. While we're at this angle, you can see that there are also two warning beacon lights up on top of the cab. Chrome everywhere, like chrome lights, chrome exhaust, chrome mirrors, chrome tanks. Really accentuates this paint scheme very well. So, that's a basic overview of the model. Except for the fact that it does have the tarp on here. And stock, the tarp is not functional. But... There are instructional videos on the internet as well as some different groups and things that I've seen that have made the tarp functional. So that is entirely up to you if you want to do that as well. So I would like to show you guys for the second half of this video the other Diecast Masters Transport Series dump trucks that have been released. But before I get to that, because I know this is going to come up in the comment section, I know some of you may be wondering how close is this red to some of the other reds that we have seen on trucks over the years so hopefully with this limited area that I have to review I'll show you a few different examples so this is obviously the new Western Star right here and this is the Buffalo Road Imports International dump truck you can see that to my eyes anyway in uh, my humble opinion the Buffalo Road Imports International this truck over here on my right hand appears to be slightly darker but the red color match is similar Next one that we will compare it to is the CT660, and I think this is even a closer color match with perhaps, once again, the uh, CT660 being a slightly different shade of red, but the difference is almost non-existent. And last but certainly not least, uh, this is a much older model now, a little bit over a decade, uh, we have the Sword Peterbilt again a lot of people have fleets of this this type of vehicle uh, in red you guys let the images do the work for you in my opinion I, I once again I think the color is very close if you collect red trucks you're gonna want to add the new Western Star to your collection all right so the color comparison is over with let's go ahead and show you some of these other trucks once again one final look at the uh, at the star of the video the Western Star 4900 SF with red cab, matte silver dump body. By the way, the MSRP on this is going to be around $75 US, give or take a few dollars. And you can expect this to hit at your favorite authorized Diecast Masters dealer or distributor sometime in August or September. All right. Here is the Sword Peterbilt with the East dump body. A very popular model. All right, so the remainder of the models you will see are Diecast Masters models. This is the CT660 dump truck. This is available in two different versions, the red with the silver dump box, and also a yellow cab, cat yellow cab, and a black dump box. Next we have the International HX620 dump truck. This particular version in red was the Buffalo Road Imports uh, red exclusive. This is also this truck is also available in black with a silver dump box and white with kind of a gray dump box. So a few different versions available if you're a fan of the International HX620 trucks. Next, this is also a newer release. Chances are, if you followed my channel, you have probably seen the video on this. This is the Kenworth T880 SB dump truck. I personally like this one a lot because it has that really great chrome finish. really makes the truck come alive. By the way, this kind of maroon or red finish isn't bad either. And then the last two we will see, to kind of bring the video full circle, if you will, are the two earlier releases of the Western Star dump trucks. The white version that you will see now is the 4700 with a set back front axle. And finally, we'll conclude with the Western Star 4700 set forward axle in that same style maroon slash metallic red slash whatever you'd like to call it color. So there you have it collectors. That's the entire lineup of Diecast Masters dump trucks that have been released to date in 1 to 50 scale. Fantastic additions to your collection. Very, very affordable. Uh, I think the new Western Star is absolutely no exception to that. 
If you're looking for a newer style dump truck for your 1 to 50 scale collection, look no further. This one will get the job done for you. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned. Take care. We will see you in the next video.